we need to um, make some action here. We need to make a workaround to um, allow our wrapper, our div wrapper here, to receive this event, the click event that the add listen button receives. So basically now we see here, if I click in the add the wish list, it's of course not adding anything to the wish list, but if I click here, we have the action on the event listener happening. So um, in order to do that, the first thing we would need to do is actually just giving a very simple class name here to start the tutorial. I'm gonna give just here um, wish list wrapper. Why am I doing this? Um, I'm just doing this because I want to focus on a button that is within this class. So when I want to use query selectors, I would need actually to look for this uh, class name and also uh, the class of my button. So let's check around here. Let's let's see what is the class, if my class, my new class is appearing there. As you can see, the wish wrapper is over here. And I want to create this action that when I click this element, it's going to be clicking my Vitex button here that's inside. But I cannot only select Vitex button because otherwise we have many buttons around the website. I want to select the button inside my wishlist wrapper. And to do that, I will need to create, um, well, a handler function here. Click handler function. That's going to be handle click. And here I will have my query select. So here we have to do my const wishlist wish list button. And here, now I will have my document look for query selector. And I want to look for the element that I, the class that I just created, the wishlist wrapper. And inside of this element, I want to look for my Vitex button. So before we advanced on that, I just want to console log this wishlist button, or I'm going to call this better. I'm going to call this, uh, yeah, this is wishlist button. And I'm going to give to my div, uh, on click handler here. That's going to be handle click. Okay. So it's just doing the link again. Okay, let me just kill that and I'm going to do a text link. So right now I want to see if this element here is the button that I want to create this to use for this event handler. Okay, so if everything is working fine, I should have here if I click here, wait, I'm just an error. You see, I'm actually getting the button that I want, this one here. So that's the idea. What I want to do now, I want to trigger a click every time I click in the entire handler. So for that, I just need actually to create a wishlist dot click. And I would I would, if you're not using TypeScript, I, you should. Um, I'm just using JavaScript for this tutorial. So I will just make here a double validation because it's going to check if this exists, then we'll do this action. Otherwise you can get some typing error afterwards. And now let's see if I click here, you see now I'm clicking on add to wish list. It's also triggering what we would like, what we want. So basically that's how you do a workaround for that. And the second step now, it's how to style this component. So in order to style this component, I will use the hook of Vitex, the UCSS handle. But before I do that, I need to go to my manifest and here I will have to add something, our CSS handles. Once I add that, then I will be able to use this also in my component. How I'm going to do that? Well, inside of that, we need to create some, another folder here. That's going to be the index.css. 
And here we have all our functions, our, and here we have all our classes. So let's go ahead and create my handles. Use CSS handle. This is provided by Vitex, so you need, you need to come here and import it. Uh, import use CSS handles from, well, the app that we just installed in our manifest, or we just call it inside of our dependencies, the CSS handles. Now I can come here and use that. And what I need to give to this hook is basically um, an array that is recommended to use to give a const to this array. And here I'm giving CSS handles and I will be use two classes. One is going to be called wishlist button button container and the other one is going to be called wishlist button text. So we're going to see in a second what, what is happening here, but um, I want to give now this const, this array of, of classes to my CSS handle. Now I will need to create these two classes here. So we will simply create this one first. Um, and I will give here a background color red for now. And the other one. Here, I'll give background color blue. So he's, but I have to do one last thing here that is actually to import my CSS file. So index, um, index dot C CSO. CSS. Okay, okay, looks good. Let's see if everything's working. I think fine. Okay, nothing broke. They are good. Um, so I need to give for my wrapper now this class name, the proper class name. So some things will not work anymore, but um, the way to do that. Um, we're gonna create here inside of this here. We're gonna give my new class name. That's basically I have to do an interpolation. And here I'm gonna use my handles dot the wishlist button container that I create. I will need. So. Before going even further, I just want to show you here what happens to our handles here. Let's take a look here. Let's just console log our handles. And now we'll see. So see, we're getting here actually the class names. So Vitex is just taking our names and converting into its CSS handles. It's just taking our account um, the name of our app and giving the class name that we provided. So that's what happens actually with the handles. And that's what we want to do in the end. So we want to give our first component here, this handle dot wishlist button container. That's going to be the name of our application uh, plus our account plus the class name that we are using. So let's check, let's see if this is working. You see, we have here already our red content uh, and that's what we wanted to do. And you can see here that we are already getting the button container. That's good. So now we want to give also to our text the same thing. So just, we're gonna add this so now we're gonna add this here, actually this add to wish list, we're gonna put it after our button because our icon, because that's how we wanna achieve it. So here we're gonna have another div 
and inside of that the add wish list and the class name name is gonna be something very similar but in this case it's gonna be our button text let's see now if you have a blue blue and red great that's what we want to achieve now the structure is almost done but we remember we just changed our class name so we need to replace that as well and the one we're gonna use it's gonna be the this one here so that's the one we're gonna need to replace and this should work let's see now if i click here it's still working okay um now let's finish our styling here um we will have to give a bit of nice styling here so i'm gonna give display flex um we have a width of 100 percent then it's gonna take the entire space border 1px solid and black then we're gonna just for the content center align items center margin top we're gonna give here 20px we're gonna have to change the cursor for pointer in a transition we have a background color plus 5x this is what we're gonna do here and then we're gonna have also a hover effect so hover in this hover we're gonna tell the we're gonna have a background color of ccc and we have to make something just to be sure that we are using the right one i normally avoid this important but i think for this case we had to use it um, because sometimes you have to overwrite um with text default uh, styling so here we're gonna have a transition just to have a slight transition of background then colors five seconds and what else we will need here i think we will have to use something here that is called this global global uh, handler of vtex that you can actually then just select all the elements not only for this from this app not only using the um handlers that is are available on this app but also in general all the all the application of that you are building so it's going to check for all the buttons in your application but inside of this class and here i'm going to give just a background color transparent and here i will have something else the button container um, we're going to get also global now here for the text button label label let's just check what is this Spect. that's this one here we will need to also trick um do some padding very small ones here but we also need that padding zero and last but not least we have our wish list button text that's gonna have a margin left of 16px and the font size of 14px and that should be should be it let's see let's save let's go there and now 
Let's see if the hover effect is working. Let's see if the action is working. That's it, guys. This is the goal of the video. I hope you guys understood better how everything works, how the connections between handlers and everything else is working. Please, if you have any other questions, um, let me know in your comments below. And uh, also, if you're interested in more topics, also, I can create more videos um, according to what you would like to learn. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you next time. Bye.